Okay, stop. Stop there. Well, the house flex is pretty good. We still have six inches before we hit the bump stop on the front and about two inches before we hit the bump stop on the rear. We are at the trailhead of the Soldiers Pass 4x4 route here in Sedona, Arizona. They claim this is a black diamond route. We'll be the judge of that. This is the first time we've ever been to a designated off-road park and it is awesome. We're super excited to see what the Chinook does. Let's not waste any time. Let's get into it. It is a beautiful day here in Sedona, Arizona. The sun is shining, the rocks are red, and we are in four-wheel drive. That is a recipe for a good day. Well, let's get right into it. This trail starts off with a little descent and then a creek crossing. The creek is dried up, but the rocks are pretty grippy, although they have a thin layer of clay on top of them. every time we take this thing off-road. What was really apparent already is the weight distribution in the truck. We did our best to put as much weight forward as we could, but you see how long this thing is. There's a lot of weight over the rear axle, which in some circumstances is going to help us a lot with traction, and in other circumstances, it's gonna make things a little more challenging, which we'll see coming up. If you're one of the people that's been waiting patiently for a walk around of this rig, I can tell you that it is coming in the next video. We have also been waiting patiently to finish up some things on the interior before we show it to the world, but it's coming. Thank you for watching. And if you're excited for that, smash that subscribe button, smash that like button. Let's get back to wheeling. sauce to get up that one homie there we go steady on the throttle and the chinook just walks up it not even spinning a tire nice one at this point i think the hardest part of the trail is navigating all the people that are walking down it as well that we've cut out of the clips because these are hiking trails as well as off-roading trails even that roam awning a little bit of a workout on the trees there just bouncing our way around here. We didn't know it yet, but I was gonna regret that line later on. We're gonna see here the real implications of the weight distribution on this rig. In that little wheel lift all the traction on the rear because of the weights just pushed the truck right up didn't even have lockers on open discs well i think that was the first half of soldiers pass i think that last obstacle was the most challenging i don't know if i would consider this black diamond because the chinook did it with like lockers off open diffs but it's 
gorgeous, like the views are insane. Another little hop there, that was kind of funny. Shout out to John and Kenny who we met on the trail. Thank you guys for the beer recommendations. And thanks for spectating. I'm glad we didn't mess this one up. I'm definitely questioning the rating of this trail at this point. It is, however, a lot of fun. However, I wouldn't say it's a black diamond as most of it is one foot and under kind of rock ledges and steps. For now. And two there, buddy. It looks like you're driving your bus. This section had a bit of an uncomfortable placebo effect of being so close to this ravine drop off. Even though the rocks are very grippy, there's a lot more at stake when you live in the vehicle as opposed to just driving my rock crawler back at home. to get on the gas to bump up two tons of house up the ledge. Not trying to sugarcoat this one for you guys. The suspension on the Chinook rides really well. It's comfortable, it's flexible, it's now really stable on the highway. What's also really interesting though is when you put on the brakes, especially on a trail, and you're kind of hard on the pedal, it rolls the suspension forward so much. It's honestly something I really need to get used to because you can't really slam on the brakes without rocking the entire truck back and forth. Just little things that will learn and get more used to and make the truck more fun and capable to drive off-road.
Well, I think I'd give it a green or blue circle, not a black diamond, but it was still a lot of fun, and it gave us a lot of confidence and excitement for continuing to take this truck and push it further off-road. There is one little piece of carnage that we have to come clean about, though. Great job, everyone. <laughs> well, we just finished running Soldier's Pass. <laughs> and we came home with a soldier <laughs> for ourselves. Yep, we came home with a soldier scar right here. Our first scar. <laughs> We're not celebrating, but we're also not sad because the Chinook did so well today. It was really impressive. <laughs> yeah, it, we were really impressed. And the only thing that kind of sucks for me is I could have trimmed the fenders more and it wouldn't have kind of broken and cracked all up here. But honestly, that's what you get for wheeling your house. And yeah. you know, we're, uh, we're gonna take it in stride. Yeah. <laughs> also, we have no idea when it happened. Yeah. Maybe you know now because you watched the video, so. Yeah. <laughs> just appeared. Maybe someone kicked it. Yeah. Yeah, maybe someone just, just kicked it. But we're going to do a bit more trimming. We'll fix it up. Yep. She'll look good as new. Still the best wheel in house around. <laughs> yeah.